Welcome to the web tutorial using NSOC. Part 3 Documentation. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. In this video, we will describe documentation that is available for NSOC, including available user guides, instruments used to collect the data, crosswalks between the instrument items and variables in the data files, and available technical papers. All documentation is available on the NHATS website. To find the NSOC documentation, go to the NHATS website, click the Researcher page, then choose the NSOC button, either here in the middle of the page or up on the top right-hand corner. Here, you can see the different types of NSOC documentation. Let's start with the NSOC User Guides. The NSOC User Guide provides descriptions of the study design, content, and data collection, and information on related topics. The NSOC 3 Time Diary User Guide provides information on the study design, content, and other important data topics relevant to the 24-hour time diary of caregivers. A separate guide on how to account for sample design in NSOC analyses also is provided. Next, let's take a look at the NSOC instruments, which provide detailed information about question wording and skip patterns. You can navigate to the instrument page from this page, or if you are on the previous page, you can select the Instruments button. When you click on Instruments, you will see a PDF for each round. Let's take a look at an example of an NSOC instrument. The top of each section of the instrument indicates the round of NSOC followed by the section abbreviation and section name. For each question, the instrument includes the item number and assigned variable name and label. Display instructions that are programmed into the computer-assisted interview appear just below the item number. Display instructions help the user understand if questions were worded differently for different groups of respondents. Next, you will see the question text. When question wording or fills vary for different groups, the text will be shown parenthetically. Just under the question text is a set of codes and answers displayed to the interviewer. Boxes are used to skip respondents around items, as shown here for box CA5. Finally, at the end of each section, any derived and flag variables are listed along with variable labels. The instrument variable crosswalks offer the user a mapping of items in the instruments to variables in the data files. To access this documentation, click the instrument variable crosswalk button. Two types of crosswalks are available, the final crosswalk for the round and the crosswalk that captures any changes between the beta and the final release of a file. For each crosswalk, both a PDF and an Excel format are available. Let's take a look at an example of an Excel version for round seven cross-sectional crosswalk. The crosswalk includes questionnaire item, variable name, variable label, and file location. The crosswalk also presents whether the item is new in the current round. Although the PDF and Excel versions have the same information, the Excel versions are helpful because they allow the users to sort by variable names as well as by item names. Finally, NSOC produces a series of technical papers to assist users with various issues. For instance, papers that document income imputations and the design of NSOC weights are provided. In addition, guidance is provided on implementing a dementia classification algorithm along with programming statements. Another technical paper explains how to make population estimates with NSOC that align with Medicare and census counts. This tutorial was produced by Menya Hu, Sarah Patterson, and Vicki Friedman with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the web tutorial using NSOC Part 3 Documentation Comments and questions may be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.